what's up everybody I'm here again I'm gonna make this video here uh, this video is how to upgrade the ROG Zephyrus uh, Asus ROG Zephyrus uh, RAM I have bought a module here a Benjen Sodom DDR5 at 4800 megahertz 16 gigs of RAM here single stick got this at Best Buy for like $28 I think it was on sale anyways uh, the version that I have of the Zephyrus is the Intel, I mean, AMD Ryzen 9, uh, 7000 series, Zen 4 processor, and RTX, uh, I forgot what graphics are, I think it's 4060, uh, I'm not sure, but it's the one, it's the, uh, in between one, anyways, anyways, it's not about that. We're going to be upgrading the RAMs. So we're going to add a 16 gig module in there. Of course, there's a lot of screws here that you can see. And you got to be very careful when you take these screws out because a lot of them are not the same size. So you don't accidentally just plummet through the laptop that way. Also, there are these rubber guards here that were guarding these screws over here. So be sure to take this out. And this is a giant heat sink. I wish they would only remove the heat sink here and then take out that way and then your ram and your ssd and that's it and probably your graphics card and it will you'll be able to swap out thermal paste for liquid metal and stuff like that but anyways let's take a uh take this apart and we will upgrade the ram from 16 gigs to 32 gigs Remember to buy the RAM module for your Zephyrus if you have one, because I know there are lots of multiple different Zephyruses out there. Uh, DDR4, DDR5, different clock rates. This one here, uh, the module in there is a 4800, so we're going to get a 4800 megahertz, so it'll run in tangent together. Um, but yeah, let's open this bad boy up. Let's take these screws out, and we will add the stick of RAM in there uh, let's see if my method would work for it I'm going to just uh, untighten these screws sorry you can't really see that untighten these screws and pull it out without removing a screw because I really don't want to mix screws up sorry it's a bad focus there <laughs> um, so yeah everybody all right, we loosened all the screws, as you can see there. And I know people have used, have been using credit cards to slide in and pry it open. I didn't do that in this case. I actually pried it open with my fingers through the side here, the bottom right side. You can probably do the same thing. I'm trying to keep the screws in place, so I don't, I don't want to <laughs> take them out and then mix them together, you know. So I'll be very careful when uh, removing the back cover especially if you're doing it my method and stuff but you can see inside here so let's get this uh, cover out and we will look inside the PC alright guys so I was able to remove the back cover without having the screws come out uh, basically what you would do is you would pry from the bottom here the bottom right you would wiggle it side to side little by little with using both hands then the rest will start prying off, prying off, prying off until I, I got in trouble or I got into trouble when I, would, I couldn't pry off uh, right here in the middle. So I just wiggled it, wiggled it, wiggled it, and then it came off. So there you could see the, um, the back cover off right here. We'll place it on the side. Uh, we can take a look at the computer, the internals here. Uh, there's the cooling fans. Wow. <laughs> heatsink, uh, NVMe SSD, the RAM slot right there, battery right there. I'm really tempted on actually disassembling all this and repasting it with Cryonaut Thermal Grizzly Extreme. I have that thermal paste. I don't know what thermal paste they use to paste this. MX, um, IC Diamond, I got no clue, but uh, I'm getting actually good temperatures, so I don't think it's necessary right now. Maybe in the future I'll try that project and show you guys how to do it. But let's do the RAM upgrade.
as you can see the ram upgrade that we're going to be using is corsair vengeance uh ddr5 16 gigabyte module running at 4800 megahertz a4800 c40 uh uk and canada made in taiwan and we're gonna be inserting that piece in here this is a empty ram slot as you can see looks like quality control missed this computer with the ram because you see it's all jacked up here the cover here that wasn't me that's how it came out and the ssd this right here has its own heat sink and it's actually pretty cold uh but yeah let's do that let's insert this ram onto the slot all right so we have the ram in the slot as you can see both teeth go in first and then you'd push down Oop. push down both of them should go in if they don't uh, push down means that it doesn't end all the way let me try pushing it in again there we go As you can see both the uh, sides are in it's not sticking out anymore you can see the ram in there correctly everything touching everything down now let's put it back together again and see if this bad boy will start so let's do that let's do that let's start screwing down things here people are probably saying in the comments why didn't you open it up uh turn it on before you actually screw anything down the uh truth is i tried that unfortunately um without the screws it's not making any contact for the keyboard or the keys so the reason why we're doing this we're putting these screws back together here so let's do that and turn it on after we're done all right it's back together again let's turn it on and we hope for the best let's see here all right sorry my battery ran out i guess let's see if it turns on we get a boot loop i got no clue I'm trying to get in bios Maybe the computer takes a while to boot up at first glance when you replace the RAM or you upgrade the RAM. Oh, memory. Yep, 32 gigs of RAM. You can see it right there in the BIOS. 32 gigs of RAM. Yes, yeah, so everybody, that's how you upgrade it. Let's actually boot into Windows and see what we can do. Let's actually do uh, advanced mode, uh, optimize defaults, F9, since we just replaced the RAM. Are you sure? Yes and exit quit without saving oh my bad uh f10 save okay let's head on in windows and see if the upgrade worked i love the animation republic of gamers let's find out everybody if this is a suitable upgrade it's taking some time to load i guess it's the um computer itself uh trying to oop, relearn all right that uh, that booted up quickly and now where's my mouse oh there's my mouse and the task manager task manager performance uh, RAM, we have a total of 32 gigs of RAM, guys. There we go. 32 gigs of RAM, 4,800 megahertz each piece, two of two sodium. Uh, so far, we have 17% use, 5.2%. So the uh, system can now stretch its legs a lot better because with 16 gigs of RAM, we were seeing 35% um, usage on idle. Now we're seeing 14%. Uh, uh, even though I uninstalled a lot of uh, bloatware, crapware from there. But yeah, guys, this will give your, make your system a lot more smoother, snappier. Uh, you might gain a frame or two with gaming and stuff. Up, maybe up to five frames because DDR5 itself is really good. or It's already uh, running at uh, dual channel kind of when you install a single stick. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the RAM upgrade worked. We're at 32 gigs. Uh, you can probably put a 64 gig or a 32 gig stick on here. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm not a massive creator or anything like that. Uh, or 
work with like i don't know workstations and stuff but whatever there you go guys if you have any other questions please comment uh please say something uh i don't have 32 gig single stick or 64 gig single stick so i can't test out if i can put those two and it'll still run but yeah have a good day remember find out what your ram uses you can either check on bios like we did there or check on the task manager see what speed your ram is rated on and buy the same speed at your zephyrus if you have a zephyrus and yeah you should be able to max out the ram if you want to uh but yeah thank you guys have a good day